guys, one of my favorite ways to achieve heatless curls is with curl formers. I've been using them for a while and already uploaded a tutorial, but things have changed and I want to make sure you're getting the most accurate and updated information. I used to start on dry hair, but now I install my curl formers on freshly washed hair that's damp, not soaking wet. So after washing, I keep my hair wrapped in a t-shirt to soak up the water for at least one hour. For details on how I wash my hair, click the link. So now my hair is damp and sectioned in twists from washing. I use a set of 40 curl formers in size extra long and wide. The set comes with two gray hook wands, 20 pink extra long curl formers, and 20 orange wide curl formers. So I usually only use what comes in the container of 40, but this time I wanted to make my section smaller so my hair would dry faster and silkier. So I bought another one. Okay, let's get started. I like to work back to front one twist at a time, so just secure those other twists out of the way for now. Unravel your twist so that you have two sections. Working on the section farthest to the back first, clip the other one out of the way. Now you've already finger detangled in the shower while washing, so I'm just going to coat the entire section with a bit of shea butter to seal in the moisture. Then separate a small section about one inch in width, then clip the rest out of the way. Do any additional finger detangling that's necessary. Then it's time to apply your curl former. Place your gray wand through the curl former. Place the hook around all of your hair at the root. Push the curl former over the hook and pull the rod out. Don't worry, I'll show you a close up soon of how it works, but for now, I just want you to see the technique. So once that smaller section is done, grab another small one inch section clipping the rest out of the way. And make sure your sections are nice and neat so no hair gets yanked by accident. Do a little finger detangling, place the hook rod through the curl former, hook the rod around all the hair at the root, then pull the rod through. Repeat this same process to the rest of the section. Once that section's complete, release that second section, the other half of the twist, and do the same thing. Coat the section with shea butter. Create smaller sections within that section. Finger detangle if necessary. And begin placing your curl formers. I like to place the orange ones towards the back of my head because they're wider and create a bigger curl, and the pink ones in the front because they're smaller. Once that entire twist is done, grab another twist and repeat the process. Okay, so now that we're at the front, I can show you how it works in more detail. You want to grab the section towards the root to keep the hair tight together. Place the hook around all of the hair at the root, being sure that no hair escapes or is loose. That could result in yanked hair, so keep everything tight. With one finger placed at the top of the hook, I take the curl former and push it upwards so that it covers the entire hook. Then, using a pumping motion, I pull the gray rod downwards while pushing the curl former up and down. The up and down motion helps to relieve some of the tension on your hair from pulling the rod out of the curl former. Then, once the rod is halfway out, hold the curl former at the root and pull the rod the rest of the way out. Again, hook the rod around all of the hair at the root, push the curl former over the entire hook to cover it, pull the rod down and out while using the pumping motion of the curl former. Then once the rod is halfway out, hold the curl former at the root and pull the rod all the way out. And that's it! It sounds complicated as I'm explaining it, but it's really simple and easy. I did one side of my head because it's easier for filming, but usually I just work from the back to the front. So now I'll do the other side. And done! See how fast that was? I ended up using 75 curl formers, but again, you can do this with one pack of 40. I just wanted more definition. I always get asked the question, how do you sleep in those? Well, it's really easy with just 40. It was a bit harder with 75, but with 40, just move the curl formers towards the side of your head and it'll create a nice flat surface in the middle for you to sleep on. I wasn't planning on sleeping on the 75 curl formers, but last minute decided to so I could report back. It's the next morning and I've got to say, sleeping on 75 of these was not fun. Just an FYI. Okay, let's take them out. To 
take them out, just straighten up the curl former, squeeze the opening to create more space, and pull the curl former down to release the hair. As you can see, much different from my last tutorial. Starting on damp hair in smaller sections created a silkier, more defined texture. Oh, and I didn't use a comb or any styling tools at all. If you use 75 curl formers and don't want to sleep on them, allow at least 6 hours for your hair to dry before removing them. And that's it. You can separate them and style however you like. Bouncy, silky, defined curls using heatless curl formers. I hope this helps, guys. See you next time. Music by Mr. Windmill and Jay Soul. Summer dresses. Beyond